What's up you guys, Justin Rivas here, wanting to talk today about this. Teradek Video. This is an amazing little box that lets you take quality like DSLR, mirrorless cameras, or big fancy cameras like this, and stream with quality to Facebook Live, YouTube Live, live stream, you stream, we all stream for ice cream. And so it is a fantastic, amazing little box. We're gonna unbox it. It's not gonna come out of the box as pretty as it came because I've already been playing with that because I don't like reviewing things without having used it a little bit. I love this box. It's not perfect, but it's awesome. Let's talk a little bit about why you might get it or want it while we unbox it. So I originally ordered the Livestream Broadcaster, which honestly, I have to believe they co-developed because they end up looking like very, very similar. This is about like, I don't know, two and a half, maybe three inches by four inches or something like it's tiny. And what's amazing is we'll put it together and I can just go on like the hot shoe here. And this is like a GH3. This isn't a big camera. It's not tiny, but like, look at the footprint of it. Kind of awesome. Anyway, back to what I was saying, live stream broadcaster looks like exactly the same, just red. And at first I thought that's what would be good and I'd be able to use, but I didn't realize that that one only works with the live stream platform. You can't push to YouTube live and Facebook live. And those two are really important to me. If you're a gamer, maybe Twitch or some of these other platforms. I don't even know about all of them, but for me with my vlog, I wanted to be able to spend a little bit more time in real time interacting with, not fans, you guys aren't really fans, just people that are following me. And so I wanted a box like this to be able to do it. And as well as I think there's maybe some business opportunities that will help me pay for the box because it's not cheap. I think list is $6.99. I got it from B&H for $5.99 US dollars. Um, but business opportunities where people have announcements or things that they're wanting to be able to do online in better quality, and so something like this is good. Stickers, quick start guide. There's actually no like real manual with this thing. Even online, I wasn't able to like find a full manual, but I've been able to make it work. They've got plugs for like <coughs> everywhere around the world. So if you're traveling with this, you can definitely make that plug work. This is a plug, North American style, not that exciting. They throw in one of these things for wrapping the cables. You get an ethernet cable. You get a uh, mini HDMI to HDMI cable, which is great for the GH3. The G7 needs a micro HDMI, so I use something slightly different, but nice little addition. They've included that. And then they've basically got a tripod mount and a brackety thing. I'm, I don't know what the brackety thing is for, but I did attach a microphone to it and it worked great for that, but let's just throw this together. Anyway, I really, really like the, the size of it. Let's talk about uh, all the little inputs on it. It's got a headphone jack for monitoring the audio, which is cool. It's got USB, which allows you to take like a 3G, 4G USB modem and plug it in so that you can basically live stream from anywhere. It can also connect to Wi-Fi, which is fantastic. And it has an ethernet. So you've got lots of connectivity options there. Power switch, battery adapter, uh, again, ethernet cable. It has an input for a microphone. Honestly, it's not working on mine. And so I sent support an email. I maybe haven't set it up right or not done things right, but I don't know, it's not working. HDMI input, uh, and that's basically the box. You've got a little controller on the front when it powers up. These are all like five-way switches that allow you to like go up, down, left, right, which is kind of cool. But the best part is they have apps for your phone and for your iPad, and the apps work pretty slick and let you control basically everything about it, but the screen ends up looking pretty cool. In fact, let's boot it up. All right, well, I won't, well, we'll see. I'll, I'll cut around some of this boot up time because it can take a few minutes, but let's just talk briefly. There's a Teradek Video, and then there's the Video Pro. Now this isn't the Pro. The Pro adds two main features. One, you can put a card into it and record, which for me, I didn't feel like I really needed because the cameras themselves can record internally, the ones that I'm using. Uh, the other thing that it has, which is actually a pretty cool feature, I can't remember the term for it. I'll throw it up on the screen somewhere, but it allows you to link together multiple network sources to get a better quality connection. Like let's say you pulled in over your cell phone and over a wired connection, and maybe I think over an ethernet connection, or maybe you take like four people's cell phones and you combine them together to make sure that you have a quality broadcast ring. And that's pretty cool. It was just, I think a couple hundred dollars more and I didn't want to spend the money because my first foray into this. So the box does take a little bit of time to boot up and that's okay as long as you're not like running and gunning everywhere but i'd say it ends up being like kind of two to three minutes what's really cool about this platform that i like is teradek has done all the work to make this honestly like dummy proof like i was expecting that 
I'm a pretty technical guy and I've done some research on Facebook and how you have to like generate these codes and do these things so you're able to do a you know a live stream and I was okay I, I'm sure I'd be able to figure it out but I didn't have to basically all you do is sign into Facebook allow it to do what it needs to do and you're into Facebook and same thing for YouTube it was like sign in they've got this little like slick system for getting your device synced up to your account and it works really, really well. So if you're not like super technical, this makes it really, really easy. Now, some people have been asking online about like, well, why wouldn't you just use, like, I mean, if you're a gamer, there's lots of things out there for gaming where you just plug an HDMI device in, but all of them require you to use a computer. You know, capture cards, and I can't remember all the names of the popular ones. Whereas this is like a completely self-contained unit that is mobile and you can take it anywhere. So if you were just planning to do this at home, there's probably cheaper options out there that are also gonna deliver really high quality. But for me, I wanted the ability to potentially go to a business and be able to do this. Oh yeah, it needs ethernet. Let's do this right here. Ah, let's plug this in. This is how I had it. I could connect over Wi-Fi, but I had it there. So now it's checking the broadcasting settings. And yeah, so the ability now is we can basically take it yeah, I'm a little limited by cable here, but throw it up on here under a hot shoe and we basically take this little HDMI cable. Let's do this for fun. HDMI in, HDMI in and boom. We've now got a complete system for being able to broadcast from anywhere, which is like kind of amazing. So you can hotspot off your phone. Um, it lets you control all the quality settings depending on your internet connection. You can even check it, I know from the app for sure, to just kind of see like, what is my upload speed? What should it be at? And it'll do variable bit rate if that's kind of bouncing up and down. So let's get this out from in front of my face. Um, quality of the screen ends up looking good. It's saying no video. Oh, I'm gonna put this close and see if we can kind of focus in on it. Focus, yeah, there you go. So quality of the screen ends up working. Right now I think it's set to YouTube. You can do Facebook, you can do all these other things. Again, you kind of like hit this little menu -y button and we've got broadcast settings and you can like go up, down, left, right, do all that kind of stuff um, and get through it. But I, I guess what I've been most impressed about this box, focus back on my face, is that it honestly just works. Like it's just worked. Like other than that issue with the microphone thing, which again, there was no like full manual available and I've got something into them. It's worked and the quality has been fantastic. Now, obviously being able to use nice cameras and nice lenses and all that stuff is gonna make a big difference, but like that's why I got it. So I could plug in high quality camera gear and start connecting. And honestly, for me, I have not had so much fun online as these couple of like live streams I've done from Facebook and YouTube and the time flew by. Like I did a 45 minute Facebook one, I thought it was like 10 or 15 minutes. And my YouTube one I thought was 10 minutes, I looked at it and it was 30 minutes. And it's so much fun interacting online, building engagement, or if you're looking at it from a business sense, it's pretty cool and the box just seems to work. Now obviously the biggest concern being mobile is what the internet connection is gonna be like. So maybe the pro version, if you're planning to do a lot of stuff in sketchy locations, that ability to kind of bring all those different internet connections together is gonna to be handy. Or for some reason you're using a camera that couldn't record or that was like a limitation. The pro one maybe makes sense, but I think for what I'm doing, this is going to be pretty sweet. I haven't taken it at a bunch of different locations or tried streaming from my phone yet but I am gonna do that, but I'm really enjoying hanging out online. I've got an example I'll throw up here, Ka which is uh, the YouTube live bar broadcast that I did, and I'm amazed at the quality. It was pushing up at six megabit per second, which I don't know how technical you guys are, but um, normally I upload my YouTube videos at around 16 uh, quality-wise, and even at six, it looks really good, like really good, especially when you're used to seeing what people do over their phones. And uh, I'll throw the Facebook one up here. Actually, I don't know if I can link to the Facebook video. Anyway, I'll throw out my page or something. If you wanna go and check out that live broadcast that I did there, Facebook quality is not as good, but that's on their end. It has nothing to do with this platform. And you can see from the YouTube one, kind of the quality that it's able to do, which is pretty cool. I think it tops out at 1080, 30 frames a second, I think. Um, something like that, but anyway, that's great quality for doing live content. I'm pretty happy with this. I'd love your questions, comments, if you're using it, if you're curious about it, what you're doing would be amazing, as always. Anyway, Teradek Video, pretty cool stuff. I'm Justin Rivas, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna catch more or hop on a live stream and see this thing in action. Peace out.